my prayer this morning in this prayer walk in the garden is that we enter into our rest father take me into the place of rest rest was the promise the inheritance that god promised the people of israel as he set them free from bondage in egypt and as god sets us free from all the bondages that have plagued our lives he wants to take us into the place of rest which is his own heart and in order for us to truly enter that place we definitely have to come to the place of total surrender where we surrender all our issues our lives and say god i surrender everything i won't be worried about anything anymore it's the place where we're not trying to fix our lives anymore it's the place where we're not trying to fix the people in our lives anymore it's the place where we don't panic no matter what it's the place where we live with total confidence to god that no matter what is happening in our lives right now even if things don't seem to line up according to our understanding we live with the complete assurance and the complete conviction and the complete certitude being persuaded that all things are working together god is bringing all things the things that look good the things that feel good the things that feel bad the things that look bad god is using all of those things to bring them to work together for us for our good and that happens when we love god and so in order for us to get to the place of complete surrender total surrender in love we have to be able to experience the love of god and this is the first thing that we need to experience is the love of god as we open our first gate to experiencing god the first thing is to experience his love and um, when we look at the apostolic prayer of our beloved apostle paul for the church in ephesus he prayed that we may know the love of god how deep and how high how wide and how long it is we often talk about the love of god how god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son but very very few people walk in that love night and day and it is very important so i pray this morning that we may know we may know we may experience the love of god that the love of god may begin to flow as a river it is the love of god that can heal our souls it is the love of god that will refresh us from all the things that have left us restless i pray that you and i begin to experience this love in a palpable manner in a real way because only then will you be able to surrender completely the surrender of a bond servant you know when you give up all your rights and and then the master makes a commitment to take care of you to defend you you no longer seek to defend yourself the master takes care of you he says if you seek first the kingdom of god and its righteousness then all things will be added unto you it's the same thing may you know in this day may we experience the love of god 
may we experience the peace of God flowing from the throne of God like liquid to refresh, soak every fiber of our being, every tissue, every cell, every part of you and me, the peace of God to guard our heart like a military garrison guarding our heart that nothing will come to shake our heart. Nothing will come to cause turmoil in our heart. So I, I speak about knowing the love of God and being protected by the peace of God. We have to trust God to that extent. Every time you are insecure, you're really not trusting God. And every time you're worried, restless, angry, and fearful, you are not truly trusting God. That's why anxiety should not even be mentioned in our lives when we get to that place. Fear, anxiety, panic, low self-esteem, insecurity. Those things have no place in our hearts when we have known the love of God. It is the first requirement for us to truly walk with God is to know His love. In Ephesians chapter 1, that we may know how, you know, the fullness of the love of God. How wide, how high, how long, how deep the love of God is for us who believe. This love is for us. God has opened his heart unto us. This is what he did in the garden. When a river flow, fl was flowing, he released his river from his garden, which is his heart, into the garden he planted for Adam, east of Eden, which was from the father's heart to the heart of his son from the Father's heart to my heart today. So just open your heart today. And, and these things, we have lived for so many years, even though confessing to be Christians, but not really engaging the love of God. And so I encourage you to practice engaging the love of God. From time to time, you will have lapses where you will go back into your thinking patterns. These things are not easy to overcome, but if you stay at it, if you keep fighting, take your mind back by force, it's an entity, it's a demonic living thing that you have to fight. It will not just leave you. You have to fight it away. But you have to be persistent on a daily basis. Do not be discouraged. Don't let it taunt you or make you feel guilty. If you fail, rise right back up and engage the love of God again and pursue the heart of the Father until you begin to experience the love of God in your feelings, in your emotions, you begin to experience it in your thoughts, in your mind, in, you know, you have to take captive every thought and every imagination, everything that rises against, uh, up against the knowledge of God, we have to take those things captive, we have to rise against those things, we have to bring them into the obedience of Christ. Because our thoughts, our emotions, our words, our attitudes create our world. We are responsible for what, for our world today. Because our thoughts and, and, and our emotions, especially thoughts and imagination, when they are wrapped in strong emotions, they have a strong, powerful, creative capability and they create your world. And so use praise from your heart. 
praise releases light praise releases colors and 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 perfumes and scents in the spirit realm and 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 and, and attracts angels to come and begin to minister unto you and on your behalf so praise yourself out of that place praise yourself out of that mood praise yourself out of that fear praise yourself out of the, 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 those doubts we want to know your love father we want to know your love draw our hearts to your heart oh god draw our heart we renounce and reject all the things that are holding us back things oh god that we acquired through environment, through nurture and nature, things that came uh, uh, through bloodline and seed line, things that, you know, familiar spirits that have known our families and our tendencies have, are continuing to bring over and over and over all their suggestive little messages. We rise up against them, renounce and reject them. In the name of Yeshua, we repent for those things. In the name of Yeshua, and I ask you, O oh God, to expose the motives, hallelujah, in my heart. Expose the anxious thoughts in my heart and give me the grace, hallelujah, to be transformed into, in my soul into the likeness of your Son, into the image of your Son. Father, today I call upon your grace. Father, I come through the blood of the Lamb before your throne of grace to obtain mercy and grace to help me in my times of need. Hallelujah. In those times when I'm down, in those times when I'm low, in those times when I am fearful, in those times when I don't know what to do, in those times, oh God, when I come under attack, I need your grace, oh God, transformative grace in my life. I need your grace, hallelujah, because the word of God tells me that I am no longer under the law, I am under grace, and therefore sin no longer has power over me, fear has no power over me, doubt has no power over me, sickness has no power over me, demons have no power over me, death itself have, has no power over me because I am under your grace. I am no longer under the law. The, the law of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. And so I am free. I declare myself free today to enjoy your love, to receive your love, to swim in your love, to be carried away in your love. Let your rivers flow, O oh God. I open my first love gate. Come and arise in me, O oh God, and take over and assert yourself and refresh me and bring me peace. Take me to the place where, where you are, where your glory dwells, that I may see you face to face. In the name of Yeshua. Amen.